Do you believe that you knew or had reason to know your son was a danger to anyone else? No. Um, as a parent, you spend your whole your whole life trying to protect your ch your child from other dangers. Um, you never you never would think you have to protect your child from harming somebody else. I've asked myself if I would have done anything differently, and I wouldn't have. If you could change what happened, would you? Oh, absolutely. I wish he would have killed us instead. That was on the direct examination, and I think that may have been the single most important thing she said that could help the prosecution. The idea that she wouldn't change anything that she did. Of course, we're talking about the Michigan mom now charged four counts of manslaughter for the crimes committed by her son. Back with me, Geraldo Rivera, the veteran journalist Rachel Juarez, judge on TV's Hot Bench, and Jesse Weber, News Nation legal contributor. Uh, Jesse, look, you have said you think this is going to be a tough case uh, for prosecutors. Do you agree with me that that was probably a mistake for her to say that? I mean, her position is, in effect, I didn't do anything wrong. If she took the other stance, I failed, they would be like, okay, you're admitting our whole case. She has to be there and say, I didn't do anything wrong. I didn't neglect my son. I didn't see any warning signs. She's got no choice but to say Why? that. But Why? Now, it might Why come can't as she say I made some mistakes, but I certainly didn't expect he was going to go well, kill people? Well, let's be fair. She did say that she might have failed somewhere. She said that. She goes, I might have failed somewhere. Sure. I don't know if it was a parent, but she didn't say she's a perfect human being, but she thought she did right by her son. Let's ask the perfect parent. I, <laughs> five kids. <laughs> I wish he would have killed us instead. Yeah. I mean, that is powerful. And I think it mitigates the point of her statement that you highlighted, uh, that she would not have changed anything. But because she would have changed something, she would have had herself be killed by her, yeah. her, crazy, uh, her crazy son. I also have to say, and no one has mentioned the uh, Ethan, uh, to have a 15-year-old life without parole is extraordinary. And I also think that that will be a Supreme Court case ultimately because I think it's unconstitutional. Well, it's definitely unconstitutional to get the death penalty at that age. Which well, how about not life without parole? It's kind of the, yeah. it's a lingering death penalty. Um, Rachel, what do you make of her comments uh, on the witness stand where she said nothing she really would have done differently leading up to it? Look, it's consistent with this sort of malaise and the kind of attitude that she took. But also, I, I agree with what Jesse said. I don't know that she could say anything differently. Because in a way, saying, yes, I made a mistake and here was my specific mistake, would have just given the prosecution a hook to hang their hat on in closing argument, saying, we now know exactly where she went wrong. She identified it for us. And that makes the connection. So I think she could have maybe, you know, towed a finer line, said something like, well, yes, I wish I'd done something differently. I just don't know what I could have done. But, you know, that's really you well, know, personal. Here's what she could have said. I wish I'd known what he was texting his friends. I wish he'd, I'd known what he put in his journal. I wish I'd known that he was screaming for help in that way. And if I'd known that, yes, I would have done something differently. I mean, I, I have a different wish. I wish there was a law that said, as Florida now has, that unless you can buy a drink legally, you can't buy a gun. Or you can't have a pistol at no, all until you're 18 issue. or yeah. 21. I know it's a separate issue. But he can't it, buy. By the way, he can't. He could not have bought this pistol legally. This is that's the issue about his parents buying it, right? But 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 just to go back to your point, if he would have, if she would have said all that, that would have negated everything else where she said, right. "Listen, listen, I didn't check his text messages. No reason to. I didn't check about anything mental health. I had no reason to believe he had a mental health issue. Never communicated to me." If then at the end she says, "Yeah, I wish I would have known all this," it kind of negates everything she said before. I think so. I think it shows. I think it shows a willingness to recognize the severity of what has happened, and to say. Of course, I wish I had done things differently. Um, let me play. I, I'd asked before the break about the Swingers app mm -hmm. that she was asked about. And prosecutors basically trying to show that she was distracted, that she was having an affair, she wasn't paying attention. Uh, this is number, uh, number five. It wasn't just during the week, Monday through Friday, was it? No. No. In fact, that's what you said yesterday. But in fact, it included trips um there were actual business trips that he met me on okay and included other individuals yes what's adult friend finder that's where you can go on and meet people who meet certain tastes that you're looking for this is 429 
and you have the app Adult Friend Finder on your phone. And there were messages from you to other individuals. Correct. Oh, boy. Jesse? So, so two things. One, 100% agree was to show she was preoccupied with trying to find all these dates. But more importantly, in this case, where it was about whether or not we believe anything she said on her direct, it's about credibility because she said earlier on that she hadn't had another affair. They go, well, is that really true? You were looking for other people. There was another piece of testimony where they said, you said you took your son's phone away. He was filming later on in the night. How are we supposed to believe you? I think that's key. Trying to show if they can strike at any point in her credibility, that is problematic because we're supposed to believe everything she said on direct about all of the text messages, all of her statements. I think the issue of credibility there is more important than even the, the motive there. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your cable provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.